This handsome fellow is the all-new 2016 Volvo XC90. No mild refresh, this is the first all-new XC90 since it was introduced back in 2002. What it does is it brings a new level of refinement and technology to the Volvo brand. But has it lost that legendary Volvo practicality? Let's find out. The T6 inscription model we're driving today features a two-liter engine that has been both turbocharged and supercharged. It puts out 316 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. Now, it is connected through an eight-speed automatic transmission, and it powers all four wheels. Now, because this is a relatively small displacement engine at only two liters, it actually gets really good gas mileage. You're looking at 25 miles to the gallon on the freeway, 20 around town. One thing I love about this Volvo XC90 is that they really do the second row right. It's not second class seating. I have tons of room for my head and my legs. The light is beautifully crafted. Um, I have control over my own seat warmers as well as my own air con and just the details. The little metal piece over the speaker here, the wood trim, and I even get a sunshade. The back of the XC90 is especially spacious, with plenty of room for up to seven passengers. Folding down the extra seats is quick and easy, revealing an impressive cargo area. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Gorgeous interior. The leathers with the stitching, this wood inlay, everything about this interior is simply gorgeous. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Um, ah, they put it down here. A little switch to start it up. Okay, so I get a full digital display as my main gauge cluster. That's really cool. Oh, and I got integrated maps, actually very much like on the Audi TT, which I loved. I, that is just like the best place to put the map. On the right, we have the tachometer, which also shows the status of the transmission. On the left, we have a speedo that also has an integrated speed limit sign. Okay, so I have a little pop-up menu here. I can do trip, I can pick my media, uh, go to phone, navigation, all this sorts of stuff. That's really cool. This car is just so loaded. It's like a rolling showcase of what is possible, not just technologically, but also aesthetically. This is a beautiful interior. And that brings me to what is clearly my favorite feature of this car. This is the Volvo Census system and it is amazing. What they've done is they've integrated all of the functionality into a very large multi-touch display. Slide it to the side. Camera. This car is equipped with a surround view camera system. That's amazing. We don't have that sector or that sector highlighted because I have a camera here and a camera back there. We can select individual cameras. We can look at just everything here. It's so configurable and the interface makes so much sense. This car has the auto parking option, which I can just hit the button there and it'll go to it. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Auto start stop, distance alert, cross traffic alert, lane keeping aid, park assist. I can fold down the rear headrest because of course this is a Volvo and I have heads up display. What does this car not have? It has everything. And that brings me to one of my favorite features. Yes, this car features Apple CarPlay. Now it is an extra price option over the base system, but I think it's totally worth it. All I have to do is plug in my phone, hit Apple CarPlay, and voila, we have the Apple system integrated into Census. So many other systems kind of, it replaces them. This one, it's merely a subset of features in the main census system. I can still swipe left and right and get all of my car features or sub swipe in this menu to get just the CarPlay menu. It's brilliant. You can get into an XC90 with front wheel drive starting at around $44,000. This model here, the Inscription, 
runs a little bit more. You're looking at about $68,000 including destination. So overall, this Volvo has maintained a brilliant combination of luxury as well as that legendary Volvo practicality. But how does it drive? Let's find out. Oh, and we're not just driving around town. This time, we're gonna take it off-road. Now, I don't wanna to sound too gushy, but the fact is this XC90 is hands down my favorite luxury crossover. The Swedes at Volvo simply took the idea of what people wanted a Volvo to be and turned it up to 11. On the road, it's quiet, controlled, and technology is integrated in a way that enhances the whole experience. In the unfortunate event of an accident, the Volvo brand still stands for safety, with a generous helping of both active and passive safety features. The vehicle will even pre-tension seatbelts, auto brake, and collapse the driver's pedals if an accident is imminent. When the asphalt ends, simply use the drive mode selector to switch into off-road mode, and the XC90 does the rest. The airlift suspension promptly raises up an additional 1.6 inches over the standard height to give the vehicle even more ground clearance. And hill descent and crawl modes engage as needed no extra buttons necessary. Approach and departure angles are also quite excellent. If you're in the market for a luxury crossover and you want something different than an Audi or BMW but still worthy of the luxury price tag, you simply can't go wrong with the 2016 Volvo XC90. To learn more about the new Volvo lineup, visit your local AutoNation dealer. Click over to AutoNation.com to get started today. I'm Ryan Douthit. Thanks for watching.